Hello everyone, welcome to this quick walkthrough on the mission Gauntlet. This is uh, just before the haste mission where you're setting up for the last mission, the big score. You'll get an email off Lester. You can do this with either three characters. You'll pinpoint three cars in three different locations. And you need to find them locations, which I was on trouble with. But uh, I finally found them, so I thought I'd upload them to YouTube and help you guys out. So let's uh, quickly do this. So, in that email which you get off last though, there'll be a picture of a car. This car's in a multi-story car park, right where I put the purple marker there. It's in Pillbox Hill, I believe it's called, this neighbourhood. I hope you guys can see this pretty clear where the marker is. And yeah, it's by these two parachutes if they're not gone for you, and it's near a gun shop. And it's at right at the top of the multi-story car park. You'll see which car it is. By the picture on the email that Lester sent you, so look for the picture of that car and then get in that car. Okay, I'll see you there. Yeah, I was a little bit confused. I thought it was that grey building at first, but no, it's not. It's this uh, big red multi-story car park here. If you've got the marker there, you should be able to find it pretty easy. It's right at the top, like I said. So I'm going to speed this bit up for you guys, and so we get up there pretty quick. So here's the car and after getting inside the car you're going to need to head over to LS Customs. You'll have a GPS yellow line going across the road so it's going to be pretty easy for you to get to. You don't need me here. So uh, yeah just follow that and uh, yeah carry on going. So when you first want to do if you've damaged your car you want to make sure you repair so you get a chance at the 100% completion the gold on the mission. So yeah, repair, and then you want to do the heist prep. Make sure you get that. But if you want to get 100% completion, the gold, you're going to need to spend $17,000 on the extras, on the armor, which I recommend doing the turbo if you want. And yeah, I spent about $26,000. You don't need to, it's just $17,000. But as you're going back with a getaway vehicle, you need to make sure you still don't get hit on the way to the garage where you're going to dispatch this car. So that's the first one done. Okay, so you're going to need to do all three again on the second car. Steal, modify, and deliver the gauntlet. So, this one is on a street in a shopping area called Rockford Hills, I believe. So, I'll show you quickly on the map where this car is. Near uh, Ponds and Bees clothes shop and a barber shop, which is real near as well. So, uh, try and mark this on your map. It's on the right side of the road by a parking bay. And you should see the picture of the car which you need on the email which you got off uh, Lester. Just zooming in for you guys so you can precisely w see exactly what it is. And uh, This is the car it was for me. It'd probably be the same for you. I don't know. I can't say that for 100%. But I should imagine it is. Okay, so let's do all the same again. So do the exact same as you did last time for this car. And there you go. Uh, the third car and the last car will be near a Templar Hotel. You can see it's near a shooting range here. There's exactly what it is on the map. And a vehicle impound, which is just the right. And there's a shooting range. So do the same as before, try not to damage the car if you do repair it and uh, hopefully you get uh, 
100%. There you go, people from YouTube. Uh, hope this gu guide has been helpful for you. I've tried to break it down as much as I can. Uh, yeah, so for the first car, like uh, keep doing that for the free cars. You know, find out the location, modify the car, spend 17 grand. Make sure you don't get hit on the way back as you're delivering the gauntlet. And you should get 100% on all three, hopefully. Hope everyone's enjoying GTA as much as I am. I think it's a great game. I'm loving it. And that's all for now, folks. I'll see you next time.